Yeah, and if you're going to be around here, it's going to be warm. Uh, yes, <laughs> well, we could you, say that. There you go. So it's an unofficial start to summer, and we have those mm -hmm. summer-like temperatures Holiday. for sure. Yeah. Uh, with the humidity, too, which a lot of people uh, makes them uncomfortable. Here's your forecast for this weekend. We'll start off right with that. Saturday through Monday, we're looking at afternoon temperatures in the low 90s. Good news, we'll have a bit of a breeze up to about 15 miles an hour out of the south and southeast, but you will have to contend with that humidity, and it'll make it feel a little bit hotter outside than the actual temperature. So if you plan to be out, on the water or maybe in a picnic in a park that sort of thing uh, stay hydrated you'll need it it takes a little bit more energy for your body uh, to keep cool on really really hot days like this we are looking at uh, lake levels for you a lot of people expected to hit the water this weekend the cannon and travis still below their typical may elevations lake travis in fact about 28 feet behind but we have seen some improvement over the past month uh, so we're watching these levels carefully there's still plenty of water to enjoy while you're out there uh, just take Take care around some of those extra obstacles because of all the sometimes islands when you're out on the, the waters there. Lake Travis water temperature, by the way, 75 degrees right now. Here's a live look out there for the time being. Lake Travis from the Steiner Ranch Steakhouse WeatherNet site. You can see all of those sometimes islands. Uh, you can check out this live webcam on our website, kxan.com. Really great tool to kind of get an idea of what's going on outside before maybe you head out to the lake over the weekend. There's also current conditions listed on that web page, too. All right, let's talk about what's going on right now. We have breezy winds all out of the south and southeast, anywhere between 15, 20 miles an hour across the eastern half of our area, out over the hill country, right around 10 miles an hour. These are going to stick around for the rest of the day today. It's going to shape up to be a similar afternoon to what we saw yesterday, and temperatures show just that, too. We are already warming into the mid-80s. 84 in Georgetown, same with Bastrop. Already 88 right now in Lano. Here in Austin, 60, 85 degrees, I should say. We started out the day in the low 70s. It uh, warmed pretty quickly now that the clouds have cleared out. And we're watching the dew point pretty closely because that's a measure of how much moisture is in the air. 69 degrees, that's a really high uh, moisture count. And when it gets to that point, you can really feel the stickiness. It's not going to change a whole lot for the rest of your weekend either. Look across the state, pretty quiet conditions statewide. Everybody under some sunshine. We're going to stay warm across the area. Hour by hour, here's 6 p.m. tonight. Mostly clear skies overnight tonight. A few clouds developing early on your Saturday morning, like we saw this morning, and then everything clears out through the afternoon. As we head into your Sunday, we do it all over again. Your forecast for today, 92 degrees and breezy. And tonight, we'll dip down to around 74. Those clouds roll right back in early on your Saturday and then clear out Saturday afternoon. Temperatures again, low 90s. We'll stay with the breeze. It's also going to stay pretty humid, so watch for heat index values anywhere between 95 and 97 degrees. It's definitely going to feel warmer than it really is outside. Just remember to take care of yourself. Here's a seven-day forecast outlook uh, through the weekend. Again, no big changes or surprises all the way through Monday there. Uh, even into ne early next week, as conditions stay pretty similar with temperatures in the 70s overnight, 90s in the afternoon. It isn't until the end of the week where we see a small chance for a shower or two. But right now, that rain chance is only about 20%.